giant leap towards disaster, the combat jets of four nations have squared off above a disputed island. Vietnam is challenging an aggressive Chinese spy ship, and the Philippines has appealed to the U.S. for protection. Wednesday, a chaotic confrontation unfolded above a tiny island claimed by both South Korea and Japan. Chinese and Russian bombers infringed the territory, with Tokyo and Seoul fighting over the right to defend the airspace. South Korea says it fired more than 300 warning shots at the Russian bombers. Meanwhile, Hanoi has accused Beijing of violating its sovereignty by sending a survey ship to Vanguard Bank, which sits within Vietnam's UN recognized 370 kilometers 200 miles exclusive economic zone EEZ. Beijing arbitrarily claims the South China Sea, in its entirety, as its own. Vietnam's foreign ministry spokeswoman Le Thi Tu Hang said at the weekend, Vietnam has made contact with China and staunchly demanded China stop all unlawful activities and withdraw its ships from Vietnamese waters. After a demand by Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte for the protection of the U.S. Navy after a deadly collision in the disputed Spratly Islands, I'm calling now America. I am invoking the RPUS pact, and I would like America to gather their 7th fleet in front of China. I'm asking them now, he said during an interview. U.S. State Department spokeswoman Morgan Ortegas has called on Beijing to cease its bullying behavior and refrain from engaging in this type of provocative and destabilizing activities. In the South China Sea escalate, Mr. Duterte has invoked the Mutual Defense Treaty, MDT, with the U.S. He called on the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet based in Japan to enforce international law in the disputed Spratly Islands. I will join them, I will ride on the boat with the Admiral of the U.S. When the Americans say, we're here now, ready, I will press the button, Mr. Duterte told a TV interviewer. Duterte was expressing frustration at growing national unrest after a Chinese ship rammed and sank an anchored Filipino fishing vessel. Its 22 crew were abandoned to drift in their lifeboats. The incident occurred at Recto Bank Fishing Ground some 160 kilometers off the Philippine island of Palawan and well within its UN-defined national maritime borders. By blocking moves by ASEAN states such as Malaysia, Vietnam and the Philippines to access the resources contained within their UN-defined territorial waters, China is choking some 2.5 trillion United States dollars from the region's economy. Its reclamation and militarization of disputed outposts in the South China Sea, along with other efforts to assert its unlawful South China Sea maritime claims, including the use of maritime militia to intimidate, coerce, and threaten other nations, undermine the peace and security of the region, Ortega said.